Hi, I'm Tara McGibbon, and this is my first screencast for web animation programming. As part of our first assignment, we had to create an animation, and so I decided I would create a rotating cube. Now, in front of me, I have the HTML page, and at the top, I have all the um, code regarding menus and headers. Towards the bottom, I have the footer with all the contact details. In the center, I have uh, the images for my cube, the images that um, the website user will see. Uh, I have these separated into two divs, so I have first div, div ID container, and div ID cube sides, and they'll play a role later on in CSS. I also have uh, each image placed into a class called face, and each one is separated by an ID um, with cap letter F and a number. For example, the first image is F1, second image is F2, and so on and so forth. On my CSS page, it begins with all the um, info and uh, code regarding the styling of the menus and the footers but towards the bottom my animation code begins with a face which uh, first states that uh, all my um, images will be 360 pics in height and width as well and that they'll be separated by 20 pics padding with a background colour grey so this means if I take away all my images off my cube and add a HTML page there will still be a cube there rotating except it'll just be grey. The next one is the div cube sides which um, which helps preserve which uses WebKit to preserve the 3D as the animation is happening. It also um, ha dictates how long the animation will go for and uh, what it will do so that animation starts off it eases in so it doesn't just start spinning around very fast the animation lasts for 30 seconds and will go on uh, infinitely so it's not going to end after it's run that 30 seconds it'll just go continuously and i can change this by taking this out uh, i also have alternate in here so it means that the, um, the animation isn't just going to do the same thing every time it's not going to rotate uh, to the right 360 degrees sometimes it will go to the left Next, I have um, what the animation will do. So it starts off at zero degrees and rotates uh, around the y axis. So it rotates horizontally 360 degrees, and that is a quadrant animation. It then rotates 360 uh, degrees again along the y axis, so horizontally, and rotates once more 360 degrees. Now this is 50% animation so we've already done three full rotations. Now the animation will rotate 360 degrees uh, along the x-axis so it's going to start rotating vertically and it does this three times again. Uh, the next part of uh, the code concerns um, basically how you see the cube and I I've done this using a uh, WebKit perspective. And I have it set that you see the cube face on. Uh, you're not looking at it from above or below. You just see it straight on. The final bit of my code concerns with how uh, every image is placed and how it kind of makes that cube. So face one, which is our first image, um, uh, basically rotates 90 degrees and moves 200 pixels. So it becomes the top of our cube. Uh, our second image moves forward 200 pixels and becomes the front of the, um, the cube, so the, basically the first part of the cube we will see. Uh, our third image rotates 90 degrees and moves uh, 200 pixels and it becomes um, the, the right side of our cube. Um, our fourth image it rotates 180 degrees and becomes the left side of our image. So it's opposite to the third uh, image. Now our fifth image will become opposite to our second image and basically does the exact opposite in the sense that it rotates nine degrees and becomes um, the back of our cube. So we won't see it till our cube is rotated full 360 degrees. Now our last image, it rotates 90 degrees uh, and moves 200 pixels and rotates 180 degrees and becomes the very bottom of our cube. So we also see that finally when our cube starts to rotate um, vertically along the x-axis. Uh, here's a quick example of my cube running on my web page. Uh, this is where the cube rotates um, three times uh, 
horizontally and then it will switch to um, running uh, vertically. And it will do that about for two more times. So thank you for watching.